Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm sharing my nighttime cleaning routine. This is a little bit different than my traditional cleaning videos. I'm basically gonna show you guys real time as I'm cooking dinner, what I like to do to be efficient in the kitchen. I've also recently started using a company called Grove Collaborative and I have partnered with them in this video. If you're not familiar with Grove Collaborative, they are a company that delivers eco-friendly and non-toxic cleaning products right to your door. So you literally just place your order and you will get everything nicely packaged. Everything came super secure, nothing spilled so you don't have to make those extra trips to the grocery store so we have worked out a pretty sweet deal for anybody that wants to try this service for the first time if you're a new customer and you spend at least $20 you will get all of these items for free so you'll be getting the mrs. Myers hand soap dish soap multi-surface cleaning spray all in the scent honeysuckle which is one of my favorite scents that they make and then also this adorable bubble up brush on top of that, you'll also get free shipping and a two-month trial of the VIP program, which you are able to cancel at the end at no additional cost. But in the meantime, you do get two extra gifts during the two months. If you're already an existing customer, you'll get a free grow walnut scrubber sponge. Um, you do have to use the links that are in my info box in order to get these offers. So make sure you check those out if you are interested. <music> Okay, so going back to my cleaning routine, it literally goes like this. I will start on dinner, so whatever we're having, I'll kind of get that started. This night we were having pasta, so I went ahead and started boiling the water. And as the water is boiling, I like to be super efficient. I don't like any dead time. So I'll go and tidy up the living room, which this takes about 10 to 15 minutes. Um, I'll just make sure that everything's picked up off the floor. I'll fold the blankets. If the coffee table is noticeably dirty, I'll go ahead and wipe it down. And to wipe it down, I'm using one of the Grove Collaborative Multi-Surface Sprays. And this one smells really, really good. It's like rosemary scented. And I really like this one because I can literally take it to any room. I don't vacuum the entire house every single day, but I do like to vacuum the area rug because Nala does go outside and she'll track in like allergens and stuff like that and I have really bad allergies. So I'll go ahead and just give that a quick vacuum. And you guys can see Nala is going crazy over the vacuum cleaner. She literally does not like this vacuum cleaner. By this point, Nala has pretty much taken every single toy that I put away back out, as you guys can see. I'll also go ahead and wipe down the table that we're eating dinner at. And for this, I like to use the Mrs. Meyer spray because I love the way that it smells and it just makes the entire kitchen smell so good. So by this time my water was already boiling so I went ahead and washed my hands and then got back to cooking. This is what I do guys, like I love multitasking. I just feel so much more productive this way and I feel like stuff is getting done. And that way when dinner is done, there's a lot more time for me and my husband and Nala to all just spend time together and not really worry about having to clean. As I'm cooking, I like to keep a bowl so that I could put all the trash in and that way it just makes it super easy to get rid of all of the trash at the end. And this is actually designed for trash. It's the Trash Bowl by Rachel Ray. I go ahead and start loading the dishwasher, but I don't run it yet. I wait to run it after dinner.
When I get to the point where dinner is almost ready, that's when I start tidying up around the area where I'm cooking because I know I'm not gonna need any of the stuff that I had out anymore. So I go ahead and put everything away in its place. I put all the veggies away in Ziploc bags and I put all the cool stuff back in the refrigerator. I also like to wash the big chopping block so that I can use it to serve dinner if I need to. And this is how I use the bubble up brush. So I'll put a little bit of the Mrs. Myers dish soap into it and then I fill it up with water and it's ready to go. I can put the dishwashing soap away and I feel like it'll last me a lot longer this way. Um, and then I use a little scrubber to wash everything and it's just so cute. I don't know, I think this is so much fun. Okay, so everything is pretty much put away at this point so I can go ahead and start wiping down the counters. And I have switched over to a non-toxic marble cleaner. This one is by the brand Method. Um, by the way, Growth Collaborative does carry tons of different brands. Like they have Mrs. Myers, they also carry Method, Seventh Generation, Tom's, and a few other that I can't think off the top of my head right now, but they do have a really good selection. So the island is the very last thing that I clean and I use the same method daily granite cleaner for that and this is safe for both marble and granite. I really like it. I do feel like I have to scrub a little bit harder to get that really um, polished look than I did with my other products but I definitely think it's worth it for somewhere that we put food um, knowing that it's safe and non-toxic just makes me feel a lot better. I'll go ahead and wipe down the coffee station and that's pretty much the last thing that has to be cleaned and it is time to serve dinner. So I'll go ahead and serve dinner. You wrote to me, you wrote to me, this is suddenly. Once we're done eating, the first thing I like to do is put away any leftovers. And oh, you guys will be very proud of me. I have switched over to glass uh, containers as well because I did used to use plastic ones and you guys were telling me how bad it was. Um, so I found these at Home Goods, and they were really affordable. They were about four to five dollars per container. So after I put everything away, I'll go ahead and wash my pots and pans and I will, I'll soak the big pan for a little bit just while I'm washing the rest of the big dishes with warm water and dish soap. So by the time it's done soaking, it'll really help loosen up all those bits at the bottom. And I do like to hand dry all of my dishes and put them away right away. I don't like to let them sit on the counter. It drives me nuts. I feel like the kitchen isn't clean if there's dishes out. We can leave and run away someday, someday. So if my husband's completely done with work, he'll help me at this point and he'll kind of take over the dishes or dry dishes or vice versa. And he'll also take out the trash and the recycling. Of course, I can't forget about the table we ate at, so I'll go ahead and wipe it down again with that Mrs. Myers all-purpose cleaner. And the very last thing that I like to do is just kind of get everything prepped for the morning. So like I'm putting muffins and the little container that we can have with our coffee. And I'm also um, oiling up our cutting board so that it stays looking nice and pretty and shiny. What we do is what we do. I can take you anywhere, somewhere. We won't be scared. And I've told you guys before, the kitchen doesn't feel clean if the sink is not completely clean. So I will wash it down with a little bit of dish soap and then at the very end, I will dry it with a hand towel. So when the sink is dry, it means the kitchen is closed. Else, I got you. 
I finished my nighttime cleaning routine by folding one load of laundry. Honestly, it doesn't always happen this way, but when it does, I use it as an excuse to catch up on my favorite shows, which right now I'm obsessed with Sin Senos, and I am so excited because the second season just started, and I cannot wait to binge watch that. I'm just going to record it one week at a time. If you guys are also fans of this novela, let me know by leaving me a comment down below. Um, but yeah, other than that, this is pretty much how I end my cleaning routine. And I love it because in the morning, the kitchen is just so inviting and we can enjoy our coffee in the morning and not have to worry about it being a complete disaster from the night before. It's just such a good way to wake up, you know? So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And also don't forget to check out Grove Collaborative. I'll leave all the information down below. Definitely, if you are interested in trying it, Take advantage of the free gifts because they are awesome. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye. Yeah, I need it. Don't you need, need it too? Cause I got you.